beloved in Christ, our meditation for today is bitterness and anger will drain you of energy. Now I say that from a personal experience. Even before I knew Christ and um, was truly searching Him out or uh, accepting Him as my Lord and my Savior in my life, beloved, as a young man, I never forget um, that time back in the early 70s. I was a shot putter for the high school um, track team and um, and was doing well and actually had broken the school record in the shot put and was ready to go on to state and possibly win uh, the state uh, tournament but beloved I never got past the regional why During that time, we had a big altercation on the campus where there was a, a fighting and, and what have you. Now remember this back in the 60s and today I speak of it in infamy and shame, but it, it happened and I was a part of it. But I can remember the anger and the bitterness that was there and I remember uh, going to the... Um, regionals for uh, that year thinking that I had it all together and not realizing that the bitterness and anger that was in me due to the altercations that had taken place was still there in me and I found myself not even coming close to what my ability was or could have been matter of fact I was like maybe eight or nine feet shorter at throwing the shot put than I had been previously when I broke the school record and won the parish tournament. Beloved, I remember that as though it was yesterday and yet that was almost 40, that was over 40 something years ago. But beloved, what I am saying is this here, when we walk in bitterness and anger we cannot do the things that God would have us to do, even with His Holy Spirit living on the inside of us and guiding us, if we physically, because it mentally drains us and it physically drains us. Look what the Word of God tells us to do as born-again believers. Now I know better. I will not carry anger and bitterness in this vessel any longer. When I feel that it's coming over me, I immediately call upon the Lord and have it removed away from me. But look what God's Word says in Ephesians 4 and 31. Let all, get this now, let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. And be beloved, there are some believers who won't even speak to one another because of anger and bitterness that they have. For. There are family members who won't speak to one another and have separated themselves from one another for 10, 15, 20 years and won't speak to one another at all and yet declare that they are walking as a believer, as a Christian. Beloved, Jesus Christ died for that individual that you refuse to speak to. He died for you, even though he knew how contrary and obstinate you would be. Yet he died. Beloved, that for us to break those barriers that Satan has put up 
and made us believe that there are legitimate reasons for us to dislike, to hate, despise, reject other human beings. And beloved, if Jesus did not do it and yet died for them all, beloved, so should we be willing to forgive and to move on. Because was it not the words of Jesus? Forgive them, Father, for they know not what they do. Beloved, let's learn that. Let's walk in that. And let's walk in the freedom that God has called us to by putting aside all bitterness and anger and malice and evil speaking in Jesus name beloved many blessings to you in the name of Jesus the Christ